أهلا بكم في العلم ننتظر مع مستر أحمد بسم الله Hello everyone. Welcome in our channel. Many people are afraid of insects, they consider them disgusting and scary. Despite their strange appearance, many insects have incredible superpowers. Bombardier beetles are ground beetles, more than 500 species altogether, which are most notable for the defense mechanism that gives them their name. When disturbed, they eject a hot noxious chemical spray from the tip of the abdomen with a popping sound. Bombardier beetles inhabit all the continents except Antarctica. They typically live in woodlands or grasslands in the temperate zones but can be found in other environments if there are moist places to lay their eggs. Inside the bombardier's abdomen is a blast chamber where two chemicals, hydrogen peroxide and hydroquinones, react to form a superheated spray called benzoquinone. These two chemicals sit idly most of the time, but when the bug feels threatened it releases a catalyst that sets off the benzoquinone reaction. This mixture explodes from the beetle's hind like a lawn spray, instead of a streamlined jet, spewing the boiling chemicals in virtually all directions at a rate of 500 to 1000 squirts per second. The heat is enough to kill smaller threats like ants, and can scare away anything bigger from amphibians to humans once the pressure is released via the expulsion of the newly created benzoquinone, the valve opens once more, allowing for the next explosion. In a good day, the bombardier beetle can fire up to 20 times before running out of ammo. The wasp, which is often just a fraction of the size of her victim, begins her attack from above, swooping down and grabbing the roach with her mouth as she aims her stinger, a modified egg-laying body part called an ovipositor, at the middle of the body, the thorax, in between the first pair of legs. The quick jab takes only a few seconds, and venom compounds work fast, paralyzing the cockroach temporarily so the wasp can aim her next sting with more accuracy. With her long stinger, she targets her mind-altering venom into two areas of the ganglia, the insect equivalent of a brain. There are more than 130 species in the same wasp genus, all have a macabre life cycle, as adults, they feed like other wasps and bees, but as larvae, they must feed off other animals. They're not quite independent, not quite parasites, they're parasite-ish, or as scientists call them, parasitoids. Cockroaches are not their only targets, there are parasitoid wasps that lay their eggs in spiders, caterpillars and ants. When hunting, dragonflies catch prey with their feet, tear off the prey's wings with their sharp jaws so it can't escape, and scarf the sorry bug down, all without needing to land. Their hunting strategy is impressive, but dragonflies' ability to rip apart prey takes their predatory prowess to another level. Dragonflies have two sets of wings with muscles in the thorax that can work each wing independently. This allows them to change the angle of each wing and practice superior agility in the air. Dragonflies can fly in any direction, including sideways and backward, and can hover in a single spot for a minute or more. This amazing ability is one factor in their success as aerial ambush predators, they can move in on unsuspecting prey from any direction. Dragonflies lay their eggs in water, and when the larvae hatch, they live underwater for up to two years. Dragonflies are flat out terrifying if you're a gnat, mosquito or other small bug. They don't simply chase down their prey. Instead, they snag them from the air with calculated aerial ambushes. Dragonflies can judge the speed and trajectory of a prey target and adjust their flight to intercept prey. They're so skilled that they have up to a 95% success rate when hunting. Dung beetles are found worldwide, on every continent except Antarctica. They live in habitats that range from desert to forest. The rollers shape pieces of dung into balls and roll them away from the pile. They bury their ball to either munch on later or to use as a place to lay their eggs. Tunnelers bury their dung treasure by tunneling underneath the pile. And dwellers actually live inside dung piles. Dung beetles offer a powerful lesson to us all on how to use every precious atom of the resources we're given. Their lives revolve around gathering various animal feces and repurposing it. When it's time to start a family, the female will lay the egg deep inside those nourishing spheres. And the male will help bury the balls of dung in the ground for safekeeping. Many animals use the sun to navigate, but dung beetles set to their compass to a much higher power, the galaxy itself. Fleas are small dark-colored agile insects with two black mouthparts adapted to feeding on the blood of their host. Their legs are long, the hind pair well adapted for jumping around 200 times their own body length, making the flea one of the best jumpers of all known animals. Their bodies are hard, polished, and covered with many hairs and short spines directed backward. 
Its tough body is able to withstand great pressure, even hard squeezing between the fingers is normally insufficient to kill a flea. Adult fleas must feed on blood before they can reproduce. Eggs are laid in batches of up to 20 a take around 2 days to 2 weeks to hatch. Some people and animals suffer allergic reactions to flea saliva resulting in rashes. Flea bites generally result in the formation of a slightly raised, swollen itching spot with a single puncture point at the center. The bites often appear in clusters or lines of two bites and can remain inflamed for up to several weeks afterwards. Fleas can also lead to hair loss as a result of frequent scratching, biting and can cause anemia in extreme cases. Fireflies are familiar, but few realize that these insects are actually beetles, nocturnal members of the family Lampyridae. Fireflies love moisture and often live in humid regions of Asia and the Americas. In drier areas, they are found around wet or damp areas that retain moisture. Fireflies have dedicated light organs that are located under their abdomens. The insects take in oxygen and, inside special cells, combine it with a substance called luciferin to produce light with almost no heat. Firefly light is usually intermittent, and flashes in patterns that are unique to each species. Each blinking pattern is an optical signal that helps fireflies find potential mates. Firefly light may also serve as a defense mechanism that flashes a clear warning of the insect's unappetizing taste. The fact that even larvae are luminescent lends support to this theory. Locusts have been feared and revered throughout history. Related to grasshoppers, these insects form enormous swarms that spread across regions, devouring crops and leaving serious agricultural damage in their wake. During dry spells, solitary locusts are forced together in the patchy areas of land with remaining vegetation. This sudden crowding releases serotonin in their central nervous systems that makes locusts more sociable and promotes rapid movements and more varied appetite. Locust swarms are typically in motion and can cover vast distances, some species may travel 81 miles or more a day. They can stay in the air for long periods, regularly taking non-stop trips across the Red Sea. There are many reasons why it's difficult to control or prevent a plague of locusts, including the remoteness and breadth of the areas across which they're spread and limited resources in some of the affected countries. But experts can look at past weather patterns and historical records to identify the areas where swarms might occur and spray those areas with chemicals. Like all insects, a bee's body is divided into three parts, a head with two antennae, a thorax with six legs, and an abdomen. All bees have branched hairs somewhere on their bodies and two pairs of wings. Only female bees have stingers. Bees feed exclusively on sugary nectar and protein-rich pollen from flowering plants, unlike the carnivorous wasps from which they evolved. As they forage, bees perform the critical act of pollination. As a bee enters a flower to feed on nectar and gather pollen, some of the pollen sticks to the bee's body. When the bee flies on, it deposits some of that pollen on the next flower it visits, resulting in fertilization, allowing the plant to reproduce and to generate the fruits and seeds so many other wildlife species rely on as a food source. Though all female bees can sting, they only do so when threatened. Honey bees, with hives filled with honey and larvae that need protecting, are generally more aggressive and likely to sting when disturbed than solitary native bees. Mantids can turn their heads 180 degrees to scan their surroundings with two large compound eyes and three other simple eyes located between them. They use their front legs to snare their prey with reflexes so quick that they are difficult to see with the naked eye. Mantises have been found to jump with extreme precision, contorting their body midair to land on a precarious and specific target. Mantises like their food still moving, apparently which makes them helpful in pest control as they sup on all kinds of insects, including crickets and grasshoppers. They do have predators. Their predators include frogs, lizards, and birds, and spiders. A cockroach can live for weeks without its head, due to their open circulatory system, and the fact that they breathe through little holes in each of their body segments, they are not dependent on the mouth or head to breathe. They can run up to 3 miles in an hour, what it really means is that they can spread germs and bacteria throughout a home very quickly. Cockroaches are able to go for so long without sustenance because they are cold-blooded insects. They can live without food for one month. While the majority of cockroach species have wings, many are not good flyers and will often use their feet for traveling and escape. Cockroaches are nocturnal, coming out at night to hunt and search for food. 
While cockroaches prefer the darkness, some are attracted to bright lights, making patio and door lighting a common place to find them. Don't forget to make like and share video with your friends, with my best wishes. Mr. Ahmed Esmail